Hi, and welcome to today's daily meditation. I am excited to say lots of you are interested in doing the manifestations. So I'm hoping you will join me um, on Wednesday evening, 9 p.m. on the Empowerment Do Intuition group, because it's on that group where we will uh, really explain the different steps for manifesting. And then I will go on Facebook Live three times a day just to help us remember to do it. So we are together working on manifesting for 30 days. And I'm sure miracles will happen because they happen for me all the time when I do this stuff. And it's just fun to do it with other people. So on that, I'm so excited. I look forward to talking to you, you all on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time Empowerment Through Intuition group page. And uh, of course... I will put the links on this page also to get the free download. Um, I'm just waiting for my IT guys to upload it. On that, let's do today's meditation. Today's meditation is creating a plan. Because if your week is anything like mine, we have to have Thanksgiving dinner on the table ready for our guest. Or even if we're going someplace, we're most likely bringing something. Most of us are working. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we have to get the shopping in for those items we forgot to get over the weekend. Then we have the relatives that are stopping by but can't tell us exactly when they're coming. And of course, you have to have something prepared for them. Yee, what a week. So we're going to put out there in meditation a request to just know how to move with grace and ease through what is the beginning of the Christmas season, the chaos season, when it really should be the season of peace. So let's bring that peace in by asking for guidance as to where to move next and what to do next. And then it'd be up to you to listen to that little voice that says, grab those eggs, <laughs> you know, on your way past the store, even though you don't want to. Listen to that voice, you know, that says, Mm, I think I should make this at this time, even though it wasn't what you were planning, because it's that still small voice that you're asking for help with in this meditation to get us through. And once you realize how powerful this is, you're going to be doing it all through Christmas. All right. It's two minutes after, so three minutes after. Let's get started on our 10-minute meditation. As always, Prayer of protection and the Lord's Prayer. Protection is everything. Um, and I like to follow that Edgar Casey process. Then we are going to, I will talk us through a short guided section. We will sit in silence and receive that peaceful guidance. When the silent period is over, you will hear the chimes, so not to jolt you out of your quiet place. We will pull ourselves back in. We will stitch the energy into our bodies and up so as to bring back up our energy and keep us protected and close with the 23rd Psalm. Let's close our eyes, take a deep breath, and begin to relax. Take another deep breath. And while exhaling, scan your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Just like run through your body and notice if there's any tightness, any discomfort. And if there is, bring your attention to that spot and invite it to relax. Notice how powerful your mind is. Your body follows your mind. The mind is the builder. From this relaxed place, let us, let us begin with the prayer of protection. As I approach the throne of grace, beauty, and might, I throw about myself the protections found in the thought of the Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. From this relaxed, protected place, let us bring our attention to the divine energy that runs through our body continuously. It never ends. It is always there. It enters at the top of our head and our third eye, on our forehead, just between our eyebrows. Let us follow this stream as it goes all the way through our body to our feet and out. Following, feeling it filling our heads, allow our spirit to slightly separate from our body as it moves into our throat our spirit separates a little bit more, almost like we're peeling ourselves into two pieces, attached but separate, feeling the divine energy flow into our chest, into our trunk, our spirit slightly pulling forward, into our seat, into our legs, and at our feet we find our spirit is fully released yet attached and we invite our spirit to arise and meet thy maker bringing it up and out the top of your head arise into that perfect peace and as we sit quietly welcome the guidance and the advice and the ease and the grace that we are requesting to help us through the beginning of the holiday season. Let us be grateful and thankful for this moment and any guidance we received. Knowing that we have received guidance and it might come to us at different times throughout the week. We will know what to do, when to do it, to stay in grace and ease. Knowing this, we give thanks and appreciation pulling ourselves into our bodies fully. 
we start from the bottom of our feet and imagine we are stitching our energy in by rolling our hands in front of us and moving up our body, allowing one hand to go over the other, lifting up the energy, now lifting it up through the back of us from our heels, up our back to the top of our head, over our head to the third eye. We have stitched in and raised up our energy in strength, and we close with the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in a place of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Great meditation, guys. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And don't forget Wednesday at 9 p.m. Also visit me at intuintuition.com. I'd love you to check out the site, maybe grab a reading. It'll be fun. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Oh, I always forget, like and share. Thanks.